I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some important questions from my student Shruti. I hope their solution will definitely help many students. The question here is find n if 1 plus 2x over 3 to the power of n times 3 plus nx whole square equals to 9 plus 84x. So basically we are interested in finding only first two terms of this product of binomials. So let's begin by expanding them. Uh, we could write the first expansion as 1 to the power of n, which is, uh, or we, let me write ncn, okay, uh, just uh, 1 to the power of n, okay, plus nc n minus 1, 1 to the power of n minus 1 times 2x over 3. Now we are not going further since we will get x square and we are only interested in limiting ourselves till x, right? So, okay, times expansion of this gives us 9 square of 3 plus 2ab which is 6nx plus square of that which is n square x square. Now let's expand. So if I multiply with 1, I get what? I get, uh, so this is on the left side. On the right side, we have 9 plus 84x plus so on. So if I multiply with 1, let me multiply the first two terms. We get n plus 6nx. We'll not go there. We'll just do two terms. So first we did one time these two terms. Okay. And now, using this term, which is, this is basically n, we'll multiply this with just 9. So we get what? We get plus n c n minus 1, that is just 1, times 2x over 3 times 9, plus many other terms. All this is equal to 9 plus 84x. Now, if you compare, 9 is already there. As far as n is concerned, n c n minus 1 is also n. So we can take n common, right? So we have 9 plus, here we can take n common. We get 6x uh, plus, here we get uh, two, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we get again 6x uh, plus so on is equal to, 9, this is also, uh, more terms are there, 84x plus so on. So if you compare, 9 is equal to 9, that's perfectly fine. So this, this is okay. But this term we can equate to 84 and find the value of unknown x, right? So, so from here, we can actually equate 6x plus 6x is 12x, so we can write 12x times n is equals to 84x. Now we can find what n is, so n is 84x divided by 12x. So that gives us the value of n as, so x and x cancel. and 84 goes 7 times. So we get the value of n as equal to 7. So our answer is n equals to 7, right? So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. So if you have such questions, you only have to work for the terms where you really need to compare. That's the whole idea. So that way, if you do, you take less time and get the perfect answer. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.